This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University. Build the future you at Hodges University. Southwest Florida, you're looking live at the Cape Coral Police Department. We're out in the, in, the, in the garden area just outside the main office in Cape Coral Police Department. Always does an outstanding job of hosting Lee Pitts Live. Yes, we're here at night. Uh, and all the beauty that uh, surrounds Cape Coral. So we're excited right now to get a chance to talk to representatives from the Boys and Girls Club, get a chance to talk to Pam and David. Look at this in. Program director and unit director, right? Am I right? That's correct. Thank all you for right. having us. Good to get you here. Boys and Girls Club. It used to be the positive place for kids, but it's what now, David? It is. Bright futures or something? Great futures start here. <laughs> okay, great futures start here. Uh, let's, uh, before we get into all the formal stuff, why are, you, why, why, why are you so passionate about what you do at the Boys and Girls Club? Because it's reaching kids that need us most, that uh, come to us for a pl safe place after school and can grow and have their great futures start there, like David just said, and have fun at the same time and become successful. And you're physically at the Collier County campus, and I know you have another campus. We'll get into that in Immokalee. And, and why are you passionate about what you do with the Boys and Girls Club, Collier County? For me, working with the kids at the Boys and Girls Club is all about them being able to come with no preconceptions of what they might be, who they are, what skin color they have, how much money their family has at home, but they just come and they give us the chance to lift them up and to lift each other up. And so getting to see that every day is pretty awesome. One of the highlights of the Boys and Girls Club of Collier County, Pam, that I love so much is when you have your Youth of the Year program. I try to attend them and I also try to do shows that center around the, that magnificent program. It's becoming one of the staple programs or events that happens in all of Southwest Florida. What is the Youth of the Year program? Well, actually, it started in 1947. Um, at Boys and Girls Club of America. This is um, Collier County's fifth annual Youth of the Year program, and it's actually a premier event that gives us a chance to celebrate all the extraordinary um, achievements that our club members have made from the ages of 14 to 18. So basically, if they come in our door at six years of age, when they're 14, they have taken themselves along a path that is going to have them ready to apply and be a candidate for this program. What are some of the events that surround the Youth for the Year program? I know it culminates with a celebrity being in town. Exactly. This year our celebrity guest is going to be um, Andre Reed. Mm -hmm. So uh, leading up to that, um, for the candidates, they actually start in September. So it's a, they have a pretty rigorous uh, path between September and February where they're, um, well, they apply. Um, and are interviewed, then they have to write essays, two essays. Um, after the essays, they do mock interviews. Um, after that, they go in front of the judges for interviews. And then eventually, from our 20 candidates, um, it's broken down to four. And then we're ready to go. W when does the event take place and where? The event this year is going to be March 7th, which is a Tuesday, and it's going to be at RT Naples in Naples. And we got information appearing on the screen. People can contact you for more Absolutely. information on that. If I recall, you have a dinner, then you, you can also, if you do the right thing, you can get a chance to take pictures with the Andre um, Reed, the Hall of Fame football player there. Um, the, what has been the response from the community to your Youth for the Year program? That you, how have they been responding over here? Uh, it, it's extraordinary. It's le actually our legendary fundraiser that we use. Um, so this is um, actually a celebration, but almost like a gala, you know. So it's it's that big. We have a drum corps. We have um, alumni alumni club members this year actually that are going to be part of the cocktail reception and be performing um, in different areas. Maybe spoken word, piano duets. So um, it's 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 great. Don't let me get through this whole interview without letting the TV audience exactly. know that I'm a Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> National Alumni Hall of Famer. Uh, David, uh, tell me about the Formula for Impact program and, and what is it? Hearing Pam talk about our Youth of the Year members made me think of how they've gone through our Formula for Impact and th that formula is very much at our core. Um, we find that if we can provide a positive youth development, if we can provide target, uh, targeted programming, if we can provide um, yield, high yield activities, and if we can provide, get, receive regular attendance from our members, that we can lead them to our priority outcomes, which is academic success, um, it's good character, 
citizenship and its healthy lifestyles. Um, and so we think that our safe, positive atmosphere, the fun that we can give at its basic simplicity, um, if we can provide opportunities and expectations, and if we can also give recognition that we'll see more and more of those Youth of the Year members come from the already over 800 kids that come to our clubs every day. One of the things I like about the Boys and Girls Club mission statement, I can't recite the mission statement right now, but when you read it, it's clear that the Boys and Girls Club is looking to help children who are less served, you want to use the word disadvantaged or whatever the case is, but you got the Boys and Girls Club, like myself, they reach into the community and, and, and capture those children and give them an opportunity to speak to that. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the age of the kids that you attract and the demographics. Yes, and so we have members from the age of six years old all the way to 18. Um, so basically first grade through when they graduate high school. Um, and you know, just basically our mission, like we were talking about earlier, is just to meet them where they're at. And so when they walk in those doors, whether it's uh, being the person that every fall at their school, or maybe it's the, they're the person that's sitting alone at their lunch table, um, we think that we're gonna be able to meet them through those items and, and really give them what they're looking for. What are the club hours and how do you get children from the school to your club in Collier County? The club hours are from 1.15 in the afternoon for our members um, all the way to 7 o'clock. Um, we have some alternative school programs that come that 1.15 hour. High school gets there at 2.30, elementary between 3 and 3.30, and middle school at 4.15. Um, and they all receive our program through 7 p.m. Um, we have 19 buses that bring those kids to the club every day. Excellent. Uh, we have a few that are bought by their parents, but the large majority are coming by way of bus. We're, we're just, we are a bus stop on the way home. Did I hear you earlier say you serve 800 children? Let's get that number right. Yes. We're, 800? we're currently serving over 800 members each day at our two campuses of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Collier County. Okay. I want to talk about the other campus, which I'm really excited about, and hopefully we'll be coming to visit you at that campus. That's the Amakali. What do we have going on in the Amakali, Pam? Um, actually, um, that's our Bulge campus, and the events that take place there, or the programming, is identical to what we, we're doing at um, the Nichols campus in Naples, okay? Because it's a boys and girls club um, facility, it, will, it runs just like we do. Of course, they don't have their pool yet, their baseball field, or their gym, but those are in, in progress, so real soon they'll be. Well, you those mentioned the pool, the baseball field, and the gym. Mm -hmm. We didn't let everybody know that the Collier County campus has a lot of those wonderful activities. Go ahead and describe the Collier campus. Um, actually, we have our, our main building, which is a two-story building. Um, we have programming downstairs set up as um, games room and classrooms, and that's identical on each side of the building. Um, then upstairs we have a second floor, which we like to think of as our um, technology floor, and our teen um, floor. The teens are up there basically most of the time. And we have a dance studio up there, a recording studio, uh, pretty exciting. And then we have our gymnasium, where we have um, all basically our athletics, our, character, our lifestyles program, Healthy Lifestyles, obviously, is taking care of place over there, our triple play leadership, which we like to call those activities. And um, of course, we have basketball leagues that just won, uh, just ended up this week. So basketball is over. They're going to start flag football. That takes place out on our baseball field, which is um, Cal Ripken. We call it our Cal Ripken. And the kids know you over there as Miss Pam. Yes, they do. And they know you as Mr. David. <laughs> Uh, well, it's been great to have both of you here. I want to uh, encourage people also to find out more about the Immokalee campus. I know you have a specific name that is named after. Uh, um, you, you start. You have your membership is picking up already at that new campus. Absolutely, 100%. They are um, their ADA. I believe their average daily attendance right now is 252 members a day, and um, their enrollment I believe is at 500. That's so a, that's a perfect place to have a boys and girls it, club. It's, of it's been excellent. We're really excited. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to fellow <laughs> boys and girls club folk on Leap His Live. Thanks for coming out, and uh, look forward to getting out to your Immokalee campus in 2017. How about Great. that? Thank Thank you so much and seeing you at Youth of the Year. Okay, hopefully we'll see you at Youth of the Year. Thank you. Stay right there. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Pam and David and all the fine people who are associated with the Boys and Girls Club of Collier County who are doing it. I'm going to go to a break. When we come back, we'll be talking Z5B right here on Leap is Live.